As you leave this aircraft, can't you remember that? No, mình đi sớm cho nó đỡ. So even though Vietnam has just now started, it's it's already uh, one of my favorite places I've been. And any successful day, always, 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 starts with a good breakfast. Uh, this lady was so sweet. Uh, she kind of invited me over because she saw that I was, uh, I looked a little confused. And uh, she asked if I wanted to bond me. And uh, there was no way I could say no to that. So uh, I got a little bond me here. Oh good. This is called a moto taxi, which means you're essentially taking a taxi on a motorcycle. Uh, these seems real nice. It's a little chaotic, but it's the cheapest way to travel while you're in Saigon, so definitely recommend this. Plus, it's kind of nice getting the sights of the city like this. So I've reached my first destination, Tan Din Catholic Church, but there's just one problem. This is a crosswalk. I don't know how to get through this besides just making a run for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh God, don't run me over. Oh God, don't run me over. Oh God, don't run me over. Oh, oh it's beautiful. So I just found out that uh, you are able to go inside, but it's at 5 p.m. only. Uh, so if you do come check it out and you want to check the inside out, make sure you come at 5 p.m. Uh, I think I may have to come back here. I really want to see what the inside looks like. Something else that I wanted to mention is this little garden area that's set up is beautiful. It's got a Christ the Redeemer statue. Looks very similar. I don't think it's the same thing, but looks beautiful. and. It's got a little park that they've set up. And actually, I'm not sure of the reason for this, but there's birds back here. And not like a few, but a lot of them. I don't really understand the significance of this, but I'm sure there's some reason. Moving on. So, I promise I'm going to get better about this, but something I wanted to talk about uh, were the prices, of, like, like my daily expenses uh, for the day. So, let me give you a little bit of background on that. Uh, people are looking at me so weird. I'm talking straight into the camera. Uh, yeah. So, okay, let me just start. Let me just keep going because people are going to keep walking. One dollar equals to 21,000 Vietnamese dong. Uh, that's the currency here. This morning, I started with a banh mi for breakfast. That cost 15,000 dong, which is less than a dollar. That's less than what you would pay for a McChicken at McDonald's. And I'm telling you, it was way better. Then, I took a grab bike from the hostel into District 1. Uh, my hostel is in District 5. All the churches and all the touristy things are in District 1. Uh, so it's pretty far away. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes but that only cost me 26,000 dong. That means I only paid about $1.50, if that, for the uh, grab taxi. Uh, so it really doesn't cost very much to get around, and it doesn't cost very much to eat. 
this church that I brought you guys to now is actually free to come into. And if you come in at five to go enter inside, it's also free. I really can't recommend this church enough. Definitely come here. Free, it's beautiful. And just about maybe 500 feet from Tanden Church is Tanden Market. Let's go check it out once we can cross this street. Oh, lordy lord. So, from what I've heard, uh, this market is supposed to be very, very big for textile purchases. And that makes sense as soon as we've entered. And also, uh, because of Tet happening in the next 10 days, everyone is out buying gifts uh, for their loved ones. Tet's kind of their Christmas when it comes to gifts. It's a time where all Vietnamese people will go back uh, to their homes, uh, if they live in the countryside, or wherever their parents live, wherever they can get together as a family, and exchange gifts, and just have a time for family. So, these markets are very, very, very packed right now, uh, because it's so close to Tet. I really recommend that even if you're not going to buy anything, you should really come to this market purely because of the colors, the smells, the things that you see, uh, it really is worth it. It's beautiful. Mini shrimps. Little baby shrimps. Shoes, shoes, shoes. In Saigon, place is limited, so you try to make the most of what you have. I feel like these places have all of the inventory that Ross has locked up in one shelf. So just like every other market in Saigon, this one also has a food area lined up right outside. I'm still full from my banh mi, but I may have to come back here uh, before I leave this place. Selling fresh fish, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, anything you can imagine. Mm, those look like eels. I don't want to eat those. That looks like a catfish. Maybe I'll eat that. Those look like goldfish. Maybe I'll put them in a bowl. On a hot day like this, all you need to bring your body temperature down a little bit is either some sugarcane juice or some coconut water, which is literally on every, every corner. So make sure you grab some of this. So, so good. Now, you did see the inside of the market, but the market actually carries on outside also. And uh, this is a look into that. Thank you. Next up, Jade Dragon Pagoda. So this is the Jade Emperor Pagoda. It's like 15 minute walk from uh, the uh, Pink Church and uh, the whole walk was a really nice walk. I stopped and had some tea, uh, and I highly recommend you come check this out, especially at this type of uh, time of year, uh, right before Chinese New Year. There's a lot of people coming here to pay respects uh, to the gods, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's a great place to come. This is where I had my second snack bash thing. Once again, a banh mi street food market. I would say it was good, but it wasn't as good as the actual street food. I think this is a market of street food. I just, it wasn't, it wasn't as fulfilling. <laughs> it wasn't as fulfilling. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys the market. Flowers, flowers everywhere. So Tet Festival, which is a New Year festival, is very big in Vietnam. So uh, one of the biggest things about it it's flowers. Also, I know, I'm, I'm going about this information as I go, but I'll give you more information as I get it, I promise. This is not going to be one of those travel shows where the guy traveling knows everything about that city. I never understood that. I never understood why those people who are going to that city, if they already know everything about that city. I'm like, I don't learn anything. I get there and then I'll try to learn in Google Maps and, and Google and everything. Oh, I need to buy one of these. What? I think they take this down every day. So you have to imagine how much work that must be. 
lấy thì hai ba người lấy mà họ lâu vậy So unfortunately, I have to leave the market because if I want to catch the sunset, I have to leave now so I can make it there in time and I'm always late and I don't know if I'll make it like always, but let's hope I do. So if I wanted to make the sunset in time, I had to take one of these, which once again, you could just get on the side of the street. This is costing me 30,000 Vietnamese dong, which means I'll explain later, I don't remember right now. But this means that I will hopefully make it there on time. Let's hope. Let's see how he drives. This really is a cool way to travel. Uh, the feeling you get when you're driving a motorcycle is, is unbelievable. It's great, it's phenomenal. So to get that feeling without having to drive a motorcycle, and be able to get around. It's way, way more fun than a taxi. I really, I really believe it. Okay. Okay. I was just sitting on one of these like walkways, I guess, between uh, and this water. There's goldfish in there. There's sorry. Walk by. And you could just sit down here and hang out. No one's gonna bother you. And people will walk over that hold on, let me show you. There's a guy making some stuff over there. That stuff is this. He walks around. He walks around and asks you, hey, do you want any? And I just went one because I didn't know what I was even ordering and I had this thing the other day and it's delicious it's so good and it was 15,000 Vietnamese dong which is I don't know like 75 cents it's insane that's the view the sun is going down ours there's chaos all around but there's this little piece of heaven right here it's great it is great. So this is day one of exploring. It's been an amazing day. I was able to do, do so much because once you got into District 1, everything is fairly close to each other. So you can just walk from one spot to another. And then if you are in a hurry, uh, you can just walk around and look for uh, one of those motor taxis. And usually they'll approach you. You try to bargain a little bit, but for the most part, I, I thought the prices were fair. It's been a great experience so far. I'm going to let you know when I get back to the hostel, the grand total of how much I spent today. I did a 60-minute massage. I ate at every single place that I could buy something at. Every place. Um, I think I left with 600,000 Vietnamese dong, and I think I have 100,000, so I think I spent 500,000, which is $25, roughly $25 is what I spent and I've been able to have a day that I, I really truly think was amazing it was such a great time great start to, to Vietnam I don't think I'm gonna be spending as much money on other days as I am spending today like I think that's what I was most excited about uh, with traveling to Vietnam and Thailand that you're able to afford some luxuries of life that you don't, don't necessarily uh, have the ability to back at home uh, so that's a that was a very fulfilling thing today all day Saigon you have won me over in one day it, it didn't take very much effort at all I'm gonna go back to the hostel I'm gonna take a night in and uh, and see where it goes Saigon thank you thank you thank you thank you for for an amazing time <laughs> I have so many so many so many more cities to see in Vietnam but I uh, I have a feeling that it's going to be one of my favorites. The city is just one of those cities that makes sure that you are not going to just sit in your hostel and sleep and relax. Guys, come to Vietnam. Go to Saigon. That's all I can say. I keep saying that this, this vlog wasn't going to be one of those vlogs where, where some guy knows everything and he... I, I don't know anything about the city. I'm just learning as I go. But... From what I've learned so far, what I'm able to show you so far, it's an amazing city. Please come check it out. Um, I'm, yeah, 
I realized this, this is what I've wanted to do since day one. I've wanted to show places that I love to other people so that they can go and experience the same things that I want to experience. And, and, uh, Rainbow? How much? Fresh mangoes. I just love this city. Just bought mangoes. On, while I'm sitting here, a lady just walks by with fresh mangoes, with some chili powder or something, and it's insane. It's so good.